your truck do that. This is a 17 Silverado Duramax. When you close the door mirrors, rattle. It's these covers right here. You can kind of hear it. I went on the internet and there's not a lot of people uh, complaining about it. Oh, there's a lot of people complaining, but it's a lot of Ford, Chrysler, Chevy, everything really. <clears throat> what I did <coughs> is, uh, excuse me, is I took the mirrors off and how you get these off is you just, I so watched another guy on YouTube and I don't remember his name. Just put your fingers in the top and just firmly pull off. And the top comes off, the bottom comes off. Although I did notice the bottom, hopefully it works. Because I broke that tab and that tab right here. It's supposed to be like little fingers. So I did break two of those off and it kind of pisses me off, but oh well. So what I did is I fixed this one already. It's still has a little vibrate too, but it's not that bad. Um, so what I did is these are 15 millimeter torques. One, two, three, four, five. Take this cover off and then there's fingers up here at the top. And I'll show you on the other side when I get that one apart. There's fingers up there that aren't, it's like they're just a tab. Let me get that mirror off and I can show you exactly what I did. All right, so I got the mirror off here. And I got the torques, two, one, and two. These plugs are just be real tiny, just a nice firm pull on those, look them up. This I used a, a needle nose, a curved needle nose, pull it off. But uh, and this just comes right off. There is another wire, obviously, for the, for the lights there. So I'm not gonna take that off, no reason to. Um, but this is the mirror. This is all its glory. And uh, so what's happening is, can't see that. Just, so anyway, there's a tab here. You just take this, put it past that tab, and push it to the other side. Do the same thing. Actually, hold it. <laughs> Hold it on this side with the pinky and the phone and catch the other side and then it just comes off. So these are the tabs at the top right here. They're not, they're fine, but they're not holding onto these tabs. So when you put this all back in, like this, this, this finger is pushing on this tab and it's not enough. So what I did is I added a piece of foam behind here on each one of those to take up the slack. So I'll do that now and then I'll show you. Be right back. All right, this is the foam tape I got. I don't know if you just got this. I just cut two little sections and just added them, one there and one there. I used brake clean to, to clean the, the plastic, get all the the dirt and stuff off but I don't know if I'm going to put um, on the two sides I'm going to give this a whirl first and then see how it goes so how this goes I don't know if I can do this one-handed so when this goes on that little foam piece well trying to do this with one hand and not watch the video is kind of hard um, those little foam pieces right there will sit on just just like this on those little fingers so I'll be right back. Yeah, okay, so she's on. She's pretty tight. But now I just saw this one here. That one has a has a little play on it. That's where this one. This one does not. So I am gonna put a piece of foam on this side then. That'll take care of that. There. Added a piece of foam up at the top, one there. And then one over here, I just used my screwdriver to put it in there and then pry it so I could get some foam on the other side. She's nice and tight now. This thing ain't going to rattle at all. Let me get it back together and we'll show it here. 
All right, she's all back together. Just the five screws, like 10 seconds later. And it's not even making a noise. The noise you're hearing is those stupid things. Cause, it, Cause it's not glued down here. I don't know why, but if I had the windows closed, nothing but the mirrors, no noise whatsoever. A little foam trick, there you go. And the mirrors, they're a little tricky to get back on it because when you're pushing, the motor keeps turning it. So it's, they're a little tricky, but I found if you put the bottom one on first, put the bottom one on first, so just push this up like that, and then put the bottom one and you'll, you'll hear it go pop, and then just push it down in there. So, so the top motor, well, I mean, it's all one piece. It's just a big curve. And this one will come out and it pop, and then you'll the, the other sides pop in and make sure you plug these back in. And what I did is I twisted them like this, so I knew this one is the front, this one's the back. I don't know if they're positive or negative, but whether they are or not, that's how they're going back in. So, and then don't forget that. And uh, there you go. That's how you get rid of a rattle mirror on a Chevy Silverado. All right, 2017, 2500, and they're all the same. All right, see you, bye.